Hello, in this video we will be looking at uh, Dhammapada, chapter 9, Papa Vaggo, verses 6 to 7, that's verses 121 to 122. Um, as with the previous two pairs, I'll deal with these two verses together, um, because they, they are identical except for a couple of words. Mava Manyeta Papasa Namang Tan Agamisati Uda Bindu Nepatena Uda Kumbhu Pipurati Balo Purati Papasa Tokan Tokampi Achinam Mava Manyeta Punyasa Naman tang agamissati Uda binduni patena Uda kumbhupi purati Diru purati punyasa Tu kam tu kampi achinam. Now I'll call up the text for you. Here we are. Mava manyeta papasa Namantang agamissati Uda bindu nepatena Uda kumbhupi purati Balo purati papasa Tokan tokampi achinam And the next one Mava manyeta punyasa Namantang agamissati Uda bindu nepatena Uda kumbhu pipurati Diro purati punyasa Tokan to kampi achinang So the main verb in the first line in fact, the first line constitutes um, a sentence with a main clause and a sub-clause, is um, ava manyeta. And ava manyeta is to, it can be translated as um, despise or hold in contempt, or place something down in your mind, or, or as a mild word, un underestimate it. Enlarge the text a bit. Here we are. It's from the root uh, man. Give you the iPad. From the root, oops. Hmm. There we are. Which is basically the root to do with thinking. Um, and it's a, a class four verb. Let me just um, oops, sorry, I lost something. Sorry, I got my technology mucked up a bit. Um, saying it's a class four verb. Here is, is highlight off. Sorry about this. It's in Sanskrit. It's um, a class eight and a class four verb. Um, Atmanipada, either manute or manyati. It's the manyati that is manyati rather that's um, reflected in Pali. So the manyate becomes manyati in Pali, which is just to 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 think. Kim manyasi. What do you think about it? With the prefix, the verbal prefix ava. Uh, sorry, I've just been writing on the iPad. Let me give it back to you. Here we are. With the prefix, there we are. Um, 
man class 8 class 4 manute that's the class 8 one which isn't reflected in pali whereas the class 4 one class 4 atmanepada manyate in sanskrit manyati in pali the prefix ava means down um essentially and ava manyate pali ava manyati third singular is literally to down mind to put something down in your mind therefore to us underestimate also to despise um, i've done a note here about how the verbal noun from it um avamanyana appears in the bodhicitta avatara chapter 7 verse 2 it's atma avamanyana which is quite a significant word um, and Shantideva in the Bodhicharya Avatara counsels us to avoid it carefully. Atma avamanyana by Santi, Atma avamanyana, literally self downminding. And you often will see it translated as something like self deprecation or self contempt. But I think it goes a bit deeper than that. It's not just contempt, it's the idea of creating putting yourself down in your own mind, creating a negative image um, of, your, of your own ability, um, which is, of course, highly detrimental for one's spiritual practice. If you build up the idea, oh, I can't do it, that it's precisely that, the, this building up of a negative, a self-fulfilling negative self-image um, that Shantideva is counselling against there. Now here, that's doing it to yourself, the ava, see the atmava manyana. Here, um, we're being told not to, not to underestimate the power of evil, the power of papa. Uh, the genitive is used here as the object of the noun. I would have expected to see the accusative, nava um, manyeta papan, um, but there it is, uh, the, the author here has used used the genitive um it doesn't doesn't alter, alter the meaning it means here don't un, underestimate don't think oh, if i do a bit of evil it won't won't matter too much the the nava manieta or let um let him not let one not um underestimate evil so nav so ma ava manieta let one not underestimate. Um, for a negative imperative, um, you can use na, the ordinary na, not in Pali. Um, in Sanskrit, it's regarded as uh, more literally better to use ma um, for a negative imperative. And here, that's what we see being used here. Ma va manieta papasa. Do not let, or let one not, not imperative, not optative, let one not underestimate evil and then you can insert here thinking or on the grounds that na man tang agamisati so agamisati gum to go agam to come agamisati um it will come it's the future with the issa agamisati it will come na Man tang agamisati, not to me that will come. Think, in other words, don't underestimate evil by thinking, oh, it'll never come to me. In the sense of its consequences will never come 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 back to me. So mum here, um, accusative in Sanskrit will be mam with a long a, man with a short a in Pali. Um, it's the accusative of motion, agamisati, it will come. Mang agamisati, it will come to me. Na mang tang agamisati, not to me, that will come. In other words, it won't happen to me. So you should not underestimate evil thinking, ooh, it'll never come to me. Uda bindunipatena. Uda kumbhopi purati. So Uda um, is water, cognate with our English word wet, 
and uh, water. Uda bindu. Bindu means a drop. So uda bindu, a water drop, a drop of water. So uda bindu nipatena. Uh, the root, sorry, I forgot to put my, put the text back up for you. Uda bindu nepatena, so uda water bindu drop, nepata, it's from the root, um, root pat, meaning to fall. Um, it makes a verbal noun, pata, and ni down, so nepata means falling down or in the context of a liquid dripping so nipatena by the down falling or as i said in the case of a liquid by the dripping udu ud, sorry, uda bindu nipatena by the water drop dripping so by the falling of drops of water in other words just drop by drop one drop will not fill a pot but Uda bindu nepatena by ne, supply the meaning by the constant dripping of drops of water. Uda kumbhopi purati. A kumbha is a pot. Uda kumbha is a water pot. So um, nominative singular, it's masculine. Uda kumbho api, even. So uda kumbhopi. Even a pot of water, even a water pot, I mean, even the entire pot will get filled just by the single dripping of drops of water. Um, purati, um, you'll see I've mentioned in, the, in my notes that purati is filled, that's the in, intransitive form, gets full. Um, in Sanskrit, the causative form would be purayati, which in Pali would be pureti. But here we've got the intransitive form, just purati. So that's the difference. Purati, it gets filled. Pureti, causative form, makes full, fills up. So... Udakumbhopi purati, this is the intransitive, so the, the even in an even a water pot, that means even the entire pot of water will fill up. So balo purati papasa. So balo, the foolish person, purati, that same verb again gets filled up, you use a genitive for filled up with what? So in English we say full of water. You say the you can say the same in Sanskrit and Pali. So balo purati papasa. So the fool fills up with evil. To kanto kampi achinam. Toka um, means just a, a little bit. You mostly see it in the phrase um token token meaning little by little bit by bit this um achinam um we've seen it a, a, a couple of verses ago it's our root chi um and the present part with the prefix a So we have chi, present tense, chinuti, present participle in Pali, chinam, with the prefix a, that just suggests to, on, onto it, on top of it, so piling up, heapy, heaping up. So to kam, to kampi, even just a little bit by a little bit, a chinam. He, so the balo, the foolish person, purati papasa, will become filled to the brim with evil. Hmm? Even if he only accumulates it 
little by little. Sooner or later, like the water dripping into the pot, the fool will fill him, become filled with evil. Archinum, heaping it up, token to kumpi, even if only little by little. The next verse uh, follows the structure of the one we've just looked at, um, save that the words um, papa and bala are changed for punya and dhira. So punya, the opposite of papa, and dhira, the opposite of bala, the, 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 the wise person. So, mava manyeta punyasa. Don't underestimate good. In other words, don't underestimate, in the context of this verse, the cumulative force of even small acts of good. Namantam agamissati, it will never come to me. So in other words, don't thinking, oh, I'll never see the, the benefit of the good I'm doing. Don't think that and don't un underestimate the good that you are doing. Mava manyet punyasa. Naman tang agamissati. Uda bindu ni patena, uda kumbho pipurati. Exactly the same as in the previous verse. So by the, the dripping of drops of water, even a whole water pot will fill up. Dhiro purati punyasa. The wise person becomes filled or filled to the brim with punya. Good virtue, merit, to can to kampi achinam, accumulating it, to come to kampi, even if only, or even if, even if only, little by little. So I will read this through again. Oops. Give you the text. Mava manye the papasa namantang agamissati Uda binduni patena Uda kumbhu pipurati Balu purati papasa To can to kampi achinang. Mava manye the punyasa Namantanga agamissati Uda bindu ni patena Uda kumbhu pipurati Dhiro purati punyasa To kan to kampi achinam. And once more before we wind up this video. Mava manye the papasa Namantang agamissati Uda bindu ni patena Uda kumbhu pipurati Balu purati papasa To kan to kampi achinang Mava manye the punyasa Namantang agamissati Uda bindu ni patena, uda kumbho pipurati, dhiro purati punyasa, to kan to kampi achinang. And that's it on this video.